Matthew, we're at Mac 2024. We're still in front of your Roder's machine. Herco are the sellers for the UK and yep. for this machine, aren't they? Yeah, 20 years we've been the partner selling, reselling the Roder's machine in the UK. Um, it's been a successful partnership. We've uh, like people we've got a good working relationship with them. Um, we look after applications. We have service engineers in the UK looking after all that side of things for roaders. So all your staff are trained and skilled in these machines. Yeah, we have four service engineers to look after the service side of it, and then also myself covering applications in the UK if we're required. Brilliant. So these machines, I've been seeing them pop up everywhere recently on yeah. our channel as well. Um, what are the different types of machines that you've got? What types of uh, machines do you sell size-wise? And So this is like the next to the smallest machine in the five axis configuration, but they go up to like swinging something like a meter big. So it depends on your customer application, but depends what you need. Uh, this is like, with it being the smallest one, you're looking at like your smaller compact parts, quite intricate work. Um, but yeah, it can go up to big mold and die work as well. Why do Herco resell these machines? What what are the specifications of these machines? So where these specialise is the high dynamics, the high speed, the ha the accuracy as well at those speeds as well. So when you're talking micro and accuracy, but you need the speed to, and the throughput of parts as well. I've been seeing. Uh, we went to a customer and they were a mold and die yep. customer. Why are mold and die or medical kind of industries looking at this machine? So, along with the accuracy as well and the surface finishes, they can take out hand operations, so all the polishing, so you can get down to like 0 .1, 0 0.01 RA surface finishes quite easily on here. So that takes out like manual polishing operations. 100%, so you're not taking it off the machine to, to do that step, yep. so it's a quicker turnaround yep. really. This has got a really small envelope for this machine, hasn't it? So what's the weight of the part that you can put on and what's the swing? So this part, um, or this machine is what I actually used to run. Um, I used to put like, I think it was 150 mil diameter. So it's, and it can swing up to 25 kilo on that sort of small trunnion. So it's still very rigid for that size part as well. Standing here, I can feel the machine moving behind yep. me. It's really rigid for the size of the machine. And we were talking about deceleration and acceleration. Yep. Explain that to me. So the road is what's known as, to, it's known as race cut. So the machine is actually the casting sat on rubber mats or rubber pads, should I say. So that allows the machine, when the machine's driving into the corner at high speed, rather than having to decelerate as much, the whole machine slightly moves to enable it to fire into the corner and come straight out at high speed. Okay, we're using quite small tool in here yep. as well. What, what's, what's that for? Um, so this machine is HSK40, which allows you to have a high spindle speed. So this is running at 20,000 now. So this okay. spindle goes up to 42,000. They offer um, HSK20, which I believe goes up to 90,000 if you need it. That's but, a really big punch, isn't it? Yeah. For a small so, machine. Yeah, and then also if you go into the bigger machines, they go to HSK 63 as well. So okay. it's all down to the, the application the customer needs. What's the range? How many machines is there in the range? Oh. What are the smallest? I oh, know, sorry, that's a big question <laughs> to ask you. What's one of the biggest machines that you can do? So I think they go up to a two meter bed. Wow, so okay. yeah, so they go up pretty big. So it's like big press tools. Um, but again, that's a specialist machine because it's like a big size like yeah. that. It's not many of them needed. Spe specialist yeah. machine for a specialist customer. Yeah. We're talking about uh, customer specifications. How easy is it to add automation onto a machine like this? So they offer their own palletization system, uh, which integrates straight in through that side and then just uh, works with the Because there's two doors on this machine, yeah. isn't there? So uh, you can have probably an operator door and then an automation yeah. So, yeah, door. So the automation goes on that side, uh, but also they offer robot integration as well with you know, like your standard FANUC robots, ABB, um, and then they can have them on a rail. I know there's a customer in Coventry that has a full, like uh, they've got two machines fed by a robot that's on an actual rail as well. So it's just completely left programmed, yeah. left alone. Yeah. Talking about programming, it's they're using their own software, aren't they? Yeah, they? yeah. So that enables them to develop it. It's their own software. They, they have full control over it. Um, they also offer team viewer integration as well, so they can offer support via team viewer. So if any customer's struggling, they can drop straight in and look at the team viewer and see what the machine's doing and uh, support the customer that way. Okay, well, Matthew, I hope you have a very successful Mac yep. 2024, and thank you for talking no, to MTD great. today. Thank you. Great. Cheers.